Shalom, and welcome to Darche Choshech, Pathways of Darkness, a linguistic analysis of the wrong ways of Proverbs. Today we are going to discuss the word, which means transgression. The word for trespass, the noun in Hebrew, is pesha. Genesis 31:36. And Jacob was wroth and chode with Laban. And Jacob answered and said to Laban, What is my trespass? What is my sin? that thou hast so hotly pursued after me. The concept of trespass is the same in English and Greek and Hebrew. It means to overstep the limits or the bounds. Uh, Jacob and Laban had set up some limits of how long he would work and what his reward would be and which flocks he could take. And at a certain time, he chose to leave. And Laban is chasing him down. And Jacob says, you know, I didn't overstep the limits of what we talked about. I kept within the bounds of all the things we agreed to. Genesis 50:17. So shall ye say unto Joseph, Forgive, I pray thee now, the trespass of thy brethren and their sin, for they did unto thee evil. And now we pray thee, forgive thy trespass of the servants of the God of thy father. And Joseph wept when they spake unto him. So Joseph's brothers trespassed. They went against the bounds of, of the laws of uh God, the laws of morality, they were going to kill their brother, they sold him into slavery, and now they're asking forgiveness. Exodus 34, 7, speaking of the Father, keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, and that will be, and that will by no means clear the guilty visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and upon the children's children unto the third and to the fourth generation. We've already talked about the idea of sin as being a general word for going against the laws of the father. We will talk about iniquity in a future session. But today, the idea of transgression, uh, the father knows that we're going to step outside his bounds and he is merciful and willing to forgive that. Isaiah 53, 8, He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living for the transgression of my people. He was stricken. Speaking of Messiah as a prophetic voice, we are the people, we are the people of the Father, of the Lord, and we transgress. And so we know that Yeshua took the burden of that so that we could live in him and be a free people. The verb pasha means to transgress and also to rebel. The idea of rebellion is we step outside of the parameters of our government and we do something that is not legal. Second Chronicles ten nineteen, and Israel rebelled against the house of David unto this day. Second Chronicles twenty one ten, so the Edomites revolted from under the hand of Judah unto this day. The same time also did Libna revolt from under his hand because he had forsaken Yahweh God of his fathers. And so it's very important to understand that at the point that we forsake God and we forsake his laws and his Torah, we are rebe in rebellion and we are transgressing. We are stepping outside the limits that he has set for us. Jeremiah 3.13 Only acknowledge thine iniquity, that thou hast transgressed against Yahweh thy God, and hast scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree, and ye have not obeyed my voice, saith Yahweh. He's just asking that we repent, that we say, yes, we, we took this step away from you, and we want to repent and come back and be with you. Hosea 8.1 Set the trumpet to thy mouth. He shall come as an eagle against the house of Yahweh, because they have transgressed my covenant and have trespassed against my law. So very frequently when we talk about transgression and trespass, we're talking about uh, doing things which are against what is considered to be the laws of God. With respect to this, I want to go back and just revisit one of the words that we discussed in uh, 
the ways of Yahweh, the walking the walk, study on Psalm 119. And one of the words which is used for this law very specifically means a limit, and that word is chuk. Genesis 47:22. Only the land of the priests bought he not, for the priests had a portion assigned them of Pharaoh, and did eat their portion which Pharaoh gave them. Wherefore they sold not their lands. So a chuk is a very specific, important piece, and it has a limit to it. Job 26:10. He hath compassed the waters with bounds until the day and the night come to an end. Speaking of creation, the waters have limits. Those limits are set by the Father. Also coming from this root, chakak, it literally means to inscribe in stone. And we know that there are some commandments which are inscribed in stone. In Genesis 49.10, The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet until Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be. A prophetic word from uh, Jacob over the tribe of Judah. And this uh, is translated as lawgiver. It is literally the person who is inscribing in stone uh, the laws that will be kept. Again, in Proverbs 31, 5, lest they drink and forget the law, literally what is inscribed, and pervert the judgment of any of the afflicted. So the idea of trespass means to overstep a boundary which is ordained and possibly inscribed in stone by God. We're going to look at uh, two cognate roots briefly of Pasha. The first is pasa, which is spelled with a sin instead of a shin, and the other one is pasach. Pasa means to march forward. So again, we have this picture of taking a step in a direction. Isaiah 27.4 Fury is not in me. Who would set the briars and thorns against me in battle? I would go through them. I would burn them together. I'm taking a step in a direction. 1 Samuel 20, verse 3. And David swore moreover, and said, Thy father certainly knoweth that I have found grace in thine eyes. And he saith, Let not Jonathan know this, lest he be grieved. But truly, as Yahweh liveth, and as thy soul liveth, there is but a step between me and death. It's just a short space in a direction. David knows that his life is threatened by Saul. Pasa, the idea of taking a step. Pasa means to walk or skip unevenly. And um, you can go back and review the uh, linguistic analysis of this word in the series on uh, Inside the Times and Seasons. It is for the meaning of Passover, for Pesach. In other words, the... Um, The angel of death is going to walk in a halting kind of way and and to skip unevenly. And and he's going to skip those houses that have the blood on the doorposts. Exodus 12, 23. For Yahweh will pass through to smite the Egyptians. And when he seeth the blood upon the lintel and on the two side posts, Yahweh will pass over the door and will not suffer the destroyer to come in unto your house to smite you. Just the idea that the whole root, pasha, means to be walking in a direction, but it's to be walking in a wrong direction. It means to be taking a step as a transgressor against the laws of God. What is the remedy then for transgression? In Matthew 15.2, the scribes and Pharisees said to Yeshua, Why did the disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. And Yeshua replied, But he answered and said unto them, Why do ye also transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? So it's very important that we understand the difference between the traditions of men and the Torah of Yahweh. That 
we, fo we can follow the things which are given by God. If there are traditions of men which do not conflict with the Torah, then that is not a problem. But Yeshua is bringing up to them things that they do, which are by their traditions, which are, are in conflict with Torah. So we need to know the definitions of, of all these things. We need to be biblically literate, to study and see what is written in the Word, and to do those things above other things, which may be, look okay, or they might look really good um, in the eyes even of your religious fellowship or denomination, but they are not of God, and in fact, they are in conflict with what is written in the Bible. David said in Psalm 51, 13, Then I will teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. If we know the ways of Yahweh, then we can stay inside them. We can stay within the limits that he has given us. Hosea 14:9. Who is wise, and he shall understand these things, prudent, and he shall know them. For the ways of Yahweh are right, and the just shall walk in them. But the transgressors, those who are stepping outside of the bounds, they shall fall therein. Next time, we'll move on to another word. In the meantime, Tasimita inayim ahashamayim. Keep your eye on the sky, your redemption draweth nigh. Shalom.